Today coming up, by far the three most important things for any EDM music producer. Oh, daylight, still so blind. She's never gonna walk away, but leave you with the mess you made. Hey guys, welcome to another rainy vlog. As always, it's about time to head to the studio and make some music. Today I would love to talk about the three most essential and most important things. And it all has something to do with something I would love to call MFR. Just came up with it, spontaneous. It's not a thing yet, maybe it will. And if you follow MFR, you will have a way, way higher chance to succeed as a music producer. But now let's just hit the button, head to the studio. My intern is already waiting. As long as you're all right. I know ice for breakfast is not good, but that's really all I had here in the studio. So yeah, welcome back to the studio. I hope you didn't miss it for this one day. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. Let's get back to MFR. The M just simply stands for making. The most essential, important, if you don't make music, there is no way you can get anywhere. Mm. So good. It has milk in it, nuts, so it's kind of like cereals. And a simple making might sound, because you just sit in front of your computer and make the music, it's not that easy. A lot of beginners and professionals have problems finding the time to make music. A lot of people struggle with the creative flow, just, just being able to have new ideas. So my tips for the time is definitely try to have at least an hour per day where you just make music or maybe on the weekend four hours where you just make music. No phone, no internet, no distraction, no games, no YouTube videos, just focusing on making music. For the creativity, just listen to other people's music. That's usually what helps me if I ever get stuck I just listen to five or six other songs write down maybe things they made that might fit to my song or just get me inspired or just get me going for example if I listen to an Alicia Keys song I might integrate a little bit more of a piano in my next song just getting that inspiration by listening to other finished tracks and a lot of people always ask me about the making process about equipment and I think it's just a nonsense question all you need is a computer speakers maybe or headphones something to listen to your music and that's usually it you don't need the fancy big screen you don't need the sound card you don't need the microphone to just make electronic music within the computer just go with a standard DAW there are even some for free or you can have like a demo version and even with GarageBand you can actually make music might be a bit harder and and not like you <laughs> It's a very basic program. But for example, my Dawning song, which is my most successful that I released like one and a half years ago and has now almost 3 million plays on Spotify. It was just made with the stuff that comes with Logic. Logic is 200 euros, my computer and a guitar and yeah, the singer and songwriter. That's basically it. The drums were samples that I got over the years. The guitar was played in live and uh, the rest, the bass and, and the pad sounds. I think all of them just the Logic plugins. You actually don't need more stuff than comes with Logic. Don't restrict yourself and, and saying to yourself, I can't make that kind of music because I don't have the tools for it. So it's really not about the tools, it's about your skill and how much time you actually put into making music. It's the same as with sport. The more you do it, the better you get. The more you train, the better you get. Exactly the same with music. So making, spending time making music, the most important by far. And speaking of making music, for me it's not time to work on the Gavin track. It's called We Walk Alone. First up, just finish the ice and then music, music, music. This was your final warning. Don't act like you're the last to know. You had the chance to save her. Be her savior. Now leave her alone. This was your final warning. Okay guys, almost finished with this We Walk Alone song. Finishing is, by the way, the second letter in MFR. 
Finishing songs is a skill that takes quite some time to learn, but is one of the three most crucial. If you don't finish your tracks, you will never learn to finish a song, and a not finished song is no song. So all of the tracks you started and never finished are kind of worthless. Except, of course, for the stuff that you learned in the meantime. So in the beginning, not finishing songs is fine, but after like one or two years, after you've figured out how to use the DAW and how to write music, actually, really force yourself whenever you start a project to also finish it. I know it's hard. I know it's very tempting to sit there and say, I still don't have the professional sound. I won't finish it. I will just start the next one. But if you just repeat that over and over again the sound quality will stay the same you just improve if you do like the last 10 percent that take as long as the 90 percent before that so force yourself to at least get closer to finishing a song every time you start a new project i for example have learned to decide early on if I finish a track or not. What helps me are definitely the vocals. The second I have vocals and I like them, I usually finish a song. If I do instrumentals, I make like 10 ideas, like really just half an hour, just the chords, the main melody. If I like it the next day, I will keep it, think about it a month, and then actually turn it into a full song. The earlier you decide it's not worth it to, to finish it, the more time you save and can actually spend it finishing the, the one that is the best. And finishing already leads immediately to the last point of MFR. I know it's kind of stupid, MFR. Probably MFR has already another meaning. <laughs> it's maybe a sexual disease or I don't know. But the R stands for releasing your music. I mean, making the track, finishing it is nice, fine. And then a lot of people get stuck sending it out to labels. The labels rejected or do not answer. I know this problem. That's why I started my own label to have the freedom to release whatever I want whenever I want and also getting paid because labels do not like to pay for whatever reasons. But the thing with releasing is if it's not released, no one will ever find out about you. There's no chance to get requests for remixes to start gigging all around the world, playing in clubs and festivals. No one will know about you without you releasing the song. Even if you release on a small label, you will learn what to do, what not to do if you sign to a label, to check the contracts. And if you do that early on with your not so good tracks, you will learn enough once you make the really good ones that no one screws with you. Probably they will still screw you, but maybe a bit less. So this waiting for, for the perfect track, it's not really a good idea. And just to confirm that, just go back to the very, very first releases of your favorite artist, listen to it, compare it to what they're doing now, you will hear a big difference, and maybe your tracks right now are already better than the very first track of whoever you admire as a DJ or producer. So just make sure, making your tracks, find the time to make them, finishing them, and then trying to release them, and maybe also a little bit of promotion, it won't hurt, but even if you don't promote it, just putting it out there on Spotify, if you do that with four or five songs, there is a chance that it gets picked by Spotify into one of the playlists, if it's a good track and, and the people at Spotify like it. And this way you will gain a following, get money, quite a lot, if it gets on one of the big playlists you will have enough money to do the next release and also promote it. And because so many people always ask me how to release their music and a lot of people get rejected by label, as you know, I started a week ago a sub-label where every one of you can release his or her music. The link is down below in the description. It's at the moment only invite for, for the people following this channel. It's already quite late, time to actually head back home. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed MFR. Let me know which of the three is the one you struggle with the most. Is it making, finding the time to make the music, finishing it, or are you at the stage where releasing is like your biggest problem? If you have any other problems, also let me know down below in the comments. I will try and answer it, or maybe someone else can answer it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We will see us tomorrow again here in the studio. And just as a quick tip, don't ever fly your drone in, in, in your studio. It's not a good idea. Oh, and by the way, my intern made this entire day today uh, a lyric video clip for the next Accents release. It's, it's really dope. We'll show it to you tomorrow. Ah, uh, and let me know if you're interested in how a lyric music video is actually made. I don't have a clue about it, but he does. I know, I know. we were just kids when I found you. 
And that's it with the preview. Thanks a lot. Tomorrow more about the Lyric video. Bang the laptop. Now leave alone. I should maybe say better my laptop. No. No? My laptop. <laughs> She was on, she was on, she was on your side. You had the chance.